Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into how to grow and harvest the beautiful and productive Amber Autumn Olive Shrub. If you're looking to add an easy to grow edible plant to your garden, this is one you don't wanna miss. First off, Amber Autumn Olives, they thrive in USDA zones four through nine, making it really versatile for a range of climates. It's cold hardy down to minus 20 Fahrenheit, so if you're in a colder region, this plant can handle it. For the best fruit production, plant it in full sun. Though it can tolerate a bit of shade, aim for at least six hours of sunlight each day to get the best results. The great thing about this plant is that it grows in pretty much any soil, from sandy to poor soils. It is a nitrogen fixing plant. So not only does it thrive in tough conditions, but it also helps improve your soil. You can plant autumn olive in early spring or fall and space your plants eight to 10 feet apart. Since they can grow pretty large, around 10 to 15 tall and wide, you'll want to give them some space. During the first year, you want to water regularly to help it establish, but once it's mature, this plant is drought tolerant, which is perfect for low maintenance gardens. Prune lightly in late winter or early spring to maintain shape and encourage healthy growth. And if it gets too big, don't worry, it responds very well to pruning. Okay, now for the best part, harvesting. The Amber Autumn Olive produces these beautiful golden yellow berries in late summer to fall. You'll know the berries are ready when they turn a very rich yellow and are slightly soft to the touch. They're easy to pluck right off the bush. Now these berries are packed with lycopene and they're perfect for making jams, jellies, or even eating fresh right off the plant. The flavor is a mix of tart and sweet, perfect for adding to all kinds of recipes. So that's everything you need to know to grow and harvest Amber Autumn Olive. It's an awesome addition to any edible garden and the berries are both nutritious and delicious. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more gardening tips, and let me know in the comments, are you thinking of adding this plant to your garden? Well, until next time, no matter what you grow, I hope you grow what you love.